Hey guys, welcome back to the Sanus Bricks. My name is Jevin, and today for this brick tip, we're going to be talking all about scales. Now first we're going to talk about building scales, and then we'll take a look at some figure scales. Now the difference between the two is that a building scale looks at the size of the build, whereas a figure scale uses the figure in order to judge what scale it is. Now starting at the bottom and working our way up, our smallest scale that we're going to be talking about today is the micro scale. Now this scale is pretty much anything that's smaller than a minifigure scale build. And perhaps one of the most common examples of this scale is the LEGO architecture line. This scale is also very commonly used in some Star Wars sets. So now working our way up, our next scale is the MIDI scale. Now this scale could technically be classified as micro as it is smaller than a minifigure scale. However, it still is distinct enough to classify it as its own scale. Now this scale really only has been used in a few Star Wars sets. And the main classification of this scale is that it's slightly larger than micro scale, but it doesn't have an interior like minifigure scale typically does. So let's move on to our next scale, which is the reduced scale. Now this scale can get a little bit confusing because most of these sets will have minifigures in them, but yet the build is still smaller than minifigure scale. Now this reduced scale, or what is sometimes commonly called play scale, is probably the most common one used in LEGO sets today. So now that we've talked about reduced or play scale, we can now move on to minifigure scale. Now at this scale, minifigures are perfectly proportional to the entirety of the build. Now this scale is used at sizes both big and small. For example, it is used in most speeder and car sets, but this is also the most common scale for Ultimate Collector Series Star Wars sets. So now that we've talked about minifigure scale, we can move on to our final building scale. And that, of course, is life-sized. Now if you're building in a life-size scale, that means you're building a model that is in a one-for-one -one scale with the real world. So now that we've talked all about building scales, let's take a look at some figure scales. So our first and smallest figure scale is the three-plate figure scale. Now as you might already be able to tell, the reason this is called the three-plate figure scale is because the figure is made up of three plates with one tile on top if you want it to have hair. So now moving on to the next largest scale, let's take a look at the trophy scale. Now this type of figure is called a trophy figure because it first appeared as a trophy in the collectible minifigure series. Now a LEGO trophy is exactly one brick wide and five plates tall, making it just slightly larger than our previous scale. So now moving on to our next scale, we have the micro fig scale. Now micro figures were most commonly used in the LEGO games line, and they are one brick wide and two bricks tall. Now after the micro figure comes the most common scale, the minifigure scale. Now if you're not including a hairpiece or a hat, a minifigure is exactly four bricks tall. And like I mentioned before, this is probably the most common figure scale by far. So now let's move on to our next figure scale. And that scale is the Miniland figure scale. Now these brick built figures are typically around 11 bricks tall. And these figures get their name because they are most commonly found in LEGO Miniland displays in LEGO theme parks. So now let's move on to our next figure scale, the giant figure scale. Now this figure scale is called the giant figure scale because it is named after the first figure that used the scale, the giant man. Now while this figure may have been the first in this scale, there have been a couple other LEGO sets that have used this scale for giant figures as well. And speaking of giant scales, there is one more figure scale that we need to talk about. And that is the upscaled figure. And so there we have all of our figure scales. Alright guys, and those are some of the different scales that you can use in your LEGO building. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to watch more videos like this one, consider checking out this video right here, and be sure to click right up here to subscribe.